Hi, it's Terry. I have been maintaining 180 pound weight loss with low carb, low calorie, meat focused eating since August of 2022. Get him, Callie. Get him, Callie. Get him, girl. Get him. She says, I'll get him. I'll get him all right. Get him, girl. <clears throat> get him, girl. Get him, Callie. She wants him to play so bad. Get him. Get her, Sam. Get her, Sam. Get her, Bubba. Oh, get him. Can't play favorites. Get her. Lou says. Lou says the shenanigans are boring to me, guys. Go play elsewhere. <laughs> Look, just because I come in the kitchen, don't mean y'all need to come to the kitchen. They always think they got to be in here. They don't want to miss out on nothing. You're not missing out on nothing. There's nothing to be had. Okay, fine, fine, hold on. How can I tell these little monkeys no? I just can't. Can't tell them no. I got a problem. Uh, uh. Callie, sit. Good girl. So you can see her. Lou, sit, Bubba. Good job. Sammy, good job. Back to easy. Easy. Callie, sit. Good job, Lou. Gotta wait your turn. Sammy. Easy. Easy. Good job. Okay. Okay. The peanut gallery has been given a treat, you guys. Now we can go ahead and get our supper ready for tomorrow. So let's move on to the next thing. Alrighty. So listen, this is the last of my boiled eggs right here. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do Friday. Because, um, yeah, this is the end of them. That is my orange pepper. I really do like that on the eggs. And I'm going to mix, I'm going to hold that off. I'm going to put a little farm dust with the eggs. Anyway, um, it's just, it gives a good little fun flavor to the eggs to have that, that orange. And like I said, I never liked, um, like citrusy stuff, but I sure like that. Yeah. I shouldn't say I never liked it. I just never thought of putting it on eggs. But I like it on eggs. I would have never put that on eggs. But you said that whenever you send it to me, put it on eggs. And I'm like, what kind of weird nonsense is that? But you were right. You were right. You knew what you were talking about, didn't you? You are like, girl. Okay, this is the beef. Oh, my goodness. That was almost not the beef broth. We got some beef broth here. We're going to go on and finish this. Bam. Let me see. Let's just use part of it. Because we still have, still got Friday to go. And um, so we're going to do it that way. We'll save the rest for the next day. And we're going to put some of this uh, G. Hughes stuff on it. So, oh, I threw that, that Ziploc bag away that I took it in today. So I am going to go get one back. I'm going to get it back out. But I had said a while ago, I'm going to put some of my campfire on here. Oh, listen. Listen, Linda. We ain't got that kind of time. Ain't got that kind of time. Well, y'all, well, y'all, well, y'all. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think. We're also going to put a little Richard on here, too. Um, I don't know what to think. I mean, you know, I'm talking about my, my test today. I'm just like, huh. Well, I mean, I didn't think it was going to be cardiac because it didn't feel like, like, didn't feel like any cardiac I ever heard about. But, you know, what do I know? Um, I still think there's some GI going on. But one of my coworkers, she was in, hey, where'd this come from? Did I pull this? Oh, well, I'll pop it. Um, anyway, one of my coworkers. So I worked, when I worked in the hospital, 
I worked um, after somebody had a like a, a heart bypass, or if they were um had to have um if they had to have a uh, a, a, a valve replacement. Or, like, I worked on the floor where they cracked the chest open. Or if they did leg surgery, like if they did, um, like, a vascular surgery on somebody's legs. That was my floor. So, I didn't deal with people that were, like, um, having chest pain. Oh, that's Callie. Hang on. <whistles> Callie! Okay, so I didn't deal with people who were having active chest pain, who had had like fresh heart attack. My people were the people that, you know, had to have surgery. So anyway, so um, so I don't know a lot about what, what they're testing me for. I mean, I know I used to hear them talk about things, but it was just never people that were on my floor. So the cardiologist that I saw today... His group worked on my coworker Suzanne's floor, um, and so she was in that. That's the floor she worked on. Um, we'll put a little Richard on here. Um, when she, when she was uh, working in the hospital, that's my co-director Suzanne. Let's put some garlic lovers on here. Oh, by the way, that was my 85% burger patty. Um, what's it? Oh, let's put some Avo Bravo on here. Anyway, so I was talking to her about it. I don't even remember why I was even telling y'all. But what I was talking to her about, because I told her, I said, I still think it, you know, why am I having the gastric pains? You know, the stomach pains. Well, let me tell you her theory. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna be so tired of hearing about this, but I don't care. It's happening. Oh, hang on, I got it. It's happening to me. So I gotta tell you, and you're watching me. Boy, that hair's a hot mess. That's because I had to walk on that treadmill today. Anyway, um, so she was saying, you know, Terry, think about it. Your body is stressed from, um, you know, if you're if you're you know your chest pain, your body is stressed and going through stuff. Well, when you're stressed, she said your body, you know, your body shunts things away from certain organs and. You know, and your, and your GI system makes extra gas. And she said, maybe what's going on is that it's starting. So I just want to finish packing that up. So we're packed up and ready. Maybe it's because of the chest pain. And so then that that's causing extra gas, es, extra gastric juices to be made in here, which is in turn causing the extra gas. Well, you know, that, that big old gas thing that I, you know, when I burp at night. So maybe it's this causing that to happen. I don't know. That's her theory. I don't know. I'm I'm just going along for the ride. I'm just going to wait and hopefully they'll call me tomorrow or Friday to set up that angiogram. And we'll get it figured out. So, all right. Well, then, uh, yeah. So you saw the dogs. They got their treat. Don't you be worrying about them not getting a treat because let me tell you, them dogs get their treats. Um, so anyway, um, yeah. So I'm gonna get that's my breakfast and lunch for tomorrow and um, get that put away and um, yeah I'll see you in the morning okay bye hey there I just wanted to touch base with you because um, my weight is definitely up which is fine you know I know it's gonna be um, <coughs> I was 166 this morning um, and you know I was I'm still staying still calling it my 21 day carnivore um, reset even though I've had two days two times where I ate more than just meat I ain't worried about it um, but anyway so I'm still calling it that so if anybody watches that playlist in the future they're gonna be like what the heck is that in carnivore two days out of 21 but it's all right it'll be okay um what else uh oh bathroom issue this morning phew, bad 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 um, and I know I had vegetables yesterday too, but, um, anyway, thankfully I went to mom's this weekend and got some of that, um, docusate sodium. It took me a while, but I can't, uh, I went to Sunday, I picked it up for mom and I've been taking it every night. And so even without it, 
it would have been a bad morning. So um, I'm just taking that every night while uh, until I'm done with carnivore, and then I'll stop taking it. Um, what else do I have to tell you? I know, I know, I tell y'all too much, but I don't care. I'm just telling y'all what I think, and I'm telling y'all what I'm dealing with. And you all can just hit the little fast forward button if it's TMI. Um. Yeah, so nothing today, but tomorrow morning I go see my nurse practitioner, and we I'm moving, trying to keep me in the light, but y'all are jiggling because you're heavy on my hand. I don't have nothing to set you on. Anyway, yeah, so tomorrow morning is my, um, my oh yeah, yeah, yeah my, I see my nurse practitioner tomorrow, and they called, and they're going to do the fasting insulin tomorrow, so I have to fast before when I get there. Um, <coughs> so my backstory on that, I have PCOS. Hey, let me do a Lori. Hold on. I'm doing a Lori. Lori has these hair ties. And I have mine up here. There you go. She keeps them up on her on her um, rear view mirror. But they say you're not, in Missouri, we got some pretty big laws in Missouri. Like you're not allowed to record or watch videos or anything when you're driving anymore. So, I'm not doing that. Um, but anyway, so, um, oh yeah, in my story, insulin resistance. So, when I was 18, let's pull out just a little bit so the exhaust isn't going back into the house. When I was 18, um, I went to a female doctor for the first time. And they had issues, um, like, anatomically I was there, but they just couldn't see um, as the cervix up in, in there. And so they sent me to St. Louis to some female doctors in St. Louis. Well, while I was there, that's when I was diagnosed with PCOS and with the low voice and the excess hair. And so like I said, I was about 18. Um, and then, um, and so in, when I was 20, um, you know, that that's the insulin resistance, PCOS, and, um, they ended up having to do a hymenectomy. Um, so that way they could see the cervix anyway. Um, so I have just taken it. Okay. Yeah. I have insulin resistance and you know, I've just always used that term and they did the testing and stuff back then, but I've not had it since then. So I thought, you know, we, I see all the videos and, you know, I, I just say I have it and I announce that I have it, but I have not had a test about it since I was about 20. And so I thought, well, Terry, you know, if you're going, if you're going to proclaim, oh, I got insulin resistance, maybe I should do a test about it. So, um, I'm, I'm doing a fasting insulin test tomorrow morning and I'd asked for it the morning of my lab work. I guess it was this past to, whenever it was, but they couldn't do it because, um, because they, the, the staff didn't know what diagnosis code to use. And then the, uh, and my nurse practitioner was out until this week. So they couldn't use the old blood vial. They took a vial, but it was too long. So the, the hospital got lost it or, or, you know, tossed it out cause it was too late. So anyway, so yeah, so I'm tomorrow morning I'll be fasting. So then I can get a new fasting insulin lab. And it's kind of good that I ate um, whatever days I ate. The grits was Monday. It's kind of good that I had the grits Monday and good that I had the um, salad and, and broccoli yesterday because uh, that's going to be in my system a little bit. And so I'll know, you know, how I eat normally whenever I eat my, um, my low, my keto and my vegetables, yeah, I'll kind of have an idea. I know it was only two meals, but anyway, we're just going to see how it all works. But yeah, so I'll get a fasting insulin tomorrow morning. So, all right, I will see you later. Bye. Okay. It's breakfast time. I got my I only have one and a half eggs. I dropped one and a half on the floor. So I can't eat that half of an egg because I ain't picking up off the floor to eat it. But I got my got my burger. And my one and a half egg. Um my stinky cheese. You know I love that stinky cheese. Plus it made me keep Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gold cheese. Gold cheese. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. All right. Well, I'm going to eat.
and mm, I got to sleep in my bed last night. So, all right, I'm gonna eat. Bye. Okay, here's my lunch. I always like to put it back in the eggs into my into my bowl. And uh, yeah, let's see. Mm hmm. Yep. I'm about to finish off that broth, ain't I? Got one more serving of it left, so I'll have that tomorrow probably. And I think I have two more servings left of this pork country ribs. Y'all are probably like, girl, I'm about sick, tired of seeing it, but. Mm -mm. Cause yesterday evening, y'all got yesterday afternoon. You saw me eat a steak. I know, I know. There was also some. Um, what did I get with it? broccoli and salad? But that's all right. That's all right. Obviously, that hasn't been part of the problem. But it has been a learning experience because you know the the food obsession goes away when I do carnivore. Just for me, this is not so. Long term realistic. Okay, but. Mm -mm. So, anyway, so Saturday, I've been making up my. I made up my to do list here for what I'll do Saturday. It ain't all finished. I might have something else that I remember. But Saturday, I'll do my start my laundry. I'm going to go to Walmart because I got to pick up vegetables because I didn't buy any. And um, because we got to make our salads. And then um, I'm going to make some more, some 93% ground beef. I'm going to make some 8-ounce sizes of it. And then some, I'm going to buy some chicken thighs. Because I want some 8 ounces of those. Mm. It's at my shopping list. That's on my phone. But I'll also pick up some yogurt and cottage cheese. And um, then I'll be cutting my goddaughter's hair later in the afternoon. But So that's my Saturday plans. So, but yeah, I'll be thinking on what else to add over the next couple days. But, all right, anyway, I'll see you at supper. Bye. Hey, while I'm waiting on my stuff to cook, I got a card. It came all the way from Kansas City, Missouri. Let's see what it says. Let's see what it says. It says... There's nothing you need, you'll need you need today that God can't supply, exceeding abundantly beyond all that you could ask or think. That's so true. That's so true. I like that. I like sunflowers. I don't think about decorating with them. I think sunflowers are so pretty. Like one of the ladies at work, her office, she has sunflowers everywhere, even a blanket. I just think sunflowers are so pretty. And look. I don't know if you can see it, but it has sparkles. You can't, maybe you can't see it, but I can see it. it looks, it's got glitter on it. It says, <clears throat> praying he'll give you just what you need right when you need it. Thinking of you, Kayleen. Aw, thank you, Kayleen. That your father knows exactly what you need even before he, even before you ask him. Matthew 6, verse 8. Amen. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That came at perfect timing. Because I found out today about my angiogram. We're going to talk about that as soon as we eat. But this was such perfect timing. Thank you, Kayleen. I really appreciate this. I'm going to put this over where we're with my other cards. So, we got multiple things going on. Over here, I've got... I've, I only made enough eggs to last through today, Thursday. I still got Friday. And then next week, too, I am gonna. I want some eggs for in this upcoming weeks. So, anyway, yeah. So I got 18 eggs, 18 eggs in there going. I'm doing the 555 method. So you you do them for five minutes, you know, you pressure cook them five minutes, then you let it natural pressurize five minutes, then you open it up, and then you soak it in, in cold water for five minutes. So that's the method I'm doing. Alright, so <clears throat> let's talk. Listen, I'm hungry. I gotta take a bite of my egg of my eggs. These are those good eggs. Those, the, the highfalutin, you know, the, I don't know if you want to call them pasture raised, but talk about organic. My mama's neighbor's eggs. So I'm going to eat those. There's three of them. Because they're little, I say little. They're small to me, but they're probably medium technically. 
Um, and then we got my pork. I got one more meal of this, y'all. And then, and then we're back to the ground beef. But, uh, so, not after this, I'll have tomorrow, I'll have a, a pork meal. All right. And then, I'm having some of that Harney and Sons tea, the mint one. Got right here. So, I'm going to take this fork out. Now, that. Okay, so let's talk. I got a call from the cardiology office. And the girl's name is Ashley. Ashley. Oh, Ashley. Ashley. Where shall I go? What shall I do? Oh, wait. No, that's Rhett. 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 Where shall I go? What shall I do? Frankly, my dear, I don't give up. Burp. Anyway, when I see the name Ashley, I always think of Scarlett O'Hara because she was in love with Ashley. Oh, Ashley. Anyway, all right, so all that to say, got a call from cardiology, and um, March 12th, which is this upcoming Tuesday, is when I'll have my angiogram. I have to arrive at the hospital at 9 a.m. Hang on, hang on. Ziggy, set a timer for five minutes. Good evening, Terry. Five minutes, starting now. Okay, so I have to arrive at the hospital on the 12th at 9 a.m., and the procedure will start at 11. So y'all better get your prayer hats on. Put them on Monday, Tuesday morning. That's Tuesday the 12th. Get them prayer hats going. Um. Anyway, and it's at the hospital. The one right over here. It's a half a block away. Um. So I'll be there. So my plan is, you know, I'm just, I got to, I got to get it all out. My plan is <clears throat> this Saturday while I'm doing my prep, I'll be packing up stuff for the dogs and then. Um, stuff for me and getting the dog food packed up and stuff. I called daycare They'll just stay the night and um, And then you know, I'll be back the next day um, So I'm just staying the night. So anyway, all right, so the 12th I'll have surgery or I don't know what you call it the angiogram um, That'll be and then I'll stay the night at mom's and then I'll come back the next morning and to my house and um, so anyway so after midnight, I have nothing. They can't eat or drink nothing. She said, no gum. Lord, y'all, that's going to kill me. But then they said, bring a med list, but no bottles. Bring my mama. Well, bring, bring my driver, but that's my mama. Um, brush your teeth in the morning, but don't swallow the toothpaste. I can wear glasses, but I'll have to give them to my mom. No jewelry, no polish. Oh, let's put that on Saturday. Hang on, y'all. All right, remove polish. So no jewelry, no polish or hair products, but deodorant is good. I guess they've smelled enough pits to know. Um, <clears throat> then I get this, it's kind of funny. I have to shower with shampoo the night before. Just my stuff, not even the stuff, you know, I'd understand if it was like the, the Hibiclin stuff, nope. Shower with my shampoo and soap the night before. And then shower with my shampoo and soap the morning of. But anyway, and then it's going to be a same-day procedure. I'll, I'm supposed to wear comfy clothes. Don't bring any valuables. So uh, <clears throat> that morning, I'll drop the dogs off at daycare. And then I'll come back. And then mom will pick me up and we'll go up the hill, have the procedure, and then... Um, They'll do whatever they find or do and see fit. And um, and then afterwards, like I said, I'll have to be there for a few hours and then I'll go home or go to mama's home. That way they're in a bunch of dog fur and stuff around. So I'll be at mom's house. And then, um, and then that next morning, she'll bring me home. And then I'll hang out here at the house. And, um, and then I'll go back to work on the... See, surgery Tuesday, Wednesday. So on Thursday, the 14th, I'll go back to work. And that morning, what I'll do is I'll run over to the Happy Tails and pick up my babies and bring them home. So that way they can be home that morning or after work. I'm not really sure. But anyway, so they'll, they'll, uh, we'll see what I do about that. Because I don't, I'll ask them to bring them out on leashes. 
because I won't want to do my wrist. They say it's a right wrist. That's awful because that means I'm gonna have to write with wipe with my left hand. Hello, who can I can barely reach my butt with my left hand. But anyway, so that's the thing. So that's the game plan for next Tuesday. I still have to meet my practitioner tomorrow. Hang on, I'm gonna throw this bag away. I am. Um, I meet my practitioner tomorrow. I wrote down all the things I want to talk to her about. I got to tell her, you know, I'm going to do that fasting insulin. We'll be talking about the height of skin and gallbladder ultrasound. We're going to talk about the surgeon, how he thought it was either cardiac or esophageal spasm, but I won't do a procedure until I'm cleared by cardiology. And in cardiology, I'll tell her about the treadmill EKG and the bigeminy and PVCs. And then I'm getting an angiogram next week. And then I'll tell her about that I've been taking Prilosec every night and Gas-X, but sure don't seem like it's helping. And then, um, and then I'm going to bring along my, my, I brought, made up a folder of the foods that I'll eat that are low fat. You know, it's so funny. That cholesterol issue just seems kind of. So yesterday, doesn't it? Oh, five minutes. Ziggy, stop the timer. This is not like a noise, so hang on while I let this work on press depressurizing. Okay. It's funny because like whenever there's certain sounds I've noticed when I'm editing videos, when the pressure is really strong. I've noticed that my, my voice, it's hard to hear my voice. And same like when I'm hitting my, my hammer to, on the on the thing when I'm hammering into my rutabaga. What else that was does that same thing? That little dropper went down. Hey, that's another use for these. So let's open this up. Um. Anyway, so I got a lot to catch up my nurse practitioner on, bless her heart. A lot happened to me in the past two, three weeks. So I'll tell her everything, get her opinion on some things, see what she thinks and all that good stuff. And, and, um, and yeah, so then away we go. We'll just get her in the loop and, and see what's what and go from there, you know. I, um... Like I said, a lot's going on. But anyway, so now I'm, I'm, you're supposed to, when you do these eggs, you're supposed to let them sit in the ice bath for five minutes. And then I think they do that so then you can go on and crack them and use them. Well, I'm not ready to crack them and use them. So I'm just going to put them in this water. I'm going to stick it in the refrigerator. And then whenever I meal prep later, I will, um, I'll go ahead and, and crack up four eggs for tomorrow. Because I'm still going to need these over this weekend. Four left. <clears throat> that you. 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 And you. Now. Nah. Come on, fella. Now. Nah. So now I'm going to set these in the refrigerator. And I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay. So those boiled eggs, they work well doing it that way. I'd say about... <clears throat> Eight out of ten peel real good. Then you run across a couple that doesn't. <clears throat> Look what I did. I bought. had one of these. And I have on one side. Boiled for boiled eggs. And raw for raw eggs. I have an 18 pack one. And I have a 12 pack one. The 12 pack has the raw eggs. So these I'm going to put those in. And it's going to say boiled. And I'll know that those are boiled eggs. Got to use that noggin man. Got to see being a hoarder comes in handy. All right, well, that's what I know. You're in the loop. Angie Graham is Tuesday the 12th. So, Tuesday at 11 o'clock Central Time. Get your little prayer hats on. And, all right, well, yeah, it's everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Here's my macros for the day. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.